UFC Nashville. Hey, I'm here with one of the nicest guys in the game. And listen, I don't care what those Nashville fans said yeah. tonight. Listen, Corey Sanhagen, I appreciated the performance tonight. I really did. To me, it was an example of the grappling, and it was almost like showing all Jermaine and Marab that were sitting in that front row. Listen, hey, I can grapple for five rounds too if I have to, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, grappling something I've been working on for a long time. I have some of the best coaches, man, like uh, Carrington Banks, who's, who was a phenomenal Juco wrestler at Iowa, uh, is like one of my real good friends and really awesome dude. And uh, he works his ass off, works with me all the time. And I have Ryan Hall as my grappling coach. Like, people don't understand how good Ryan Hall is. Uh, Rob Font had, you know, like besides my mistakes and being a little bit zealous, there's no way that he was going to stand up tonight. Uh, that's how you fight that guy. You know, he's the number seven guy in the world. I 45 50 him. Uh, that's, if I could do that every single time, I will. Yeah, I mean, it's almost like taking a slam dunk in basketball. You know what I mean? If it's there, you're going to take it every time. Yeah, absolutely. You know, like uh, people want to see blood, but I give, I've given them plenty of blood. I landed a real nasty flying knee on him in one of the rounds where I, I was super surprised that he just ate. I like almost felt his face mush in when I did it. Um, good on him. Almost had the darts tricep kind of screwed that up um and then uh yeah i thought i fought good man i fought exactly how you should fight rob font and he's never out of it either like i think it was in the third round it was near the end of the third round you guys were clinched against the fence and he was still throwing some tricky stuff like i think he threw the yair rodriguez like reverse <laughs> elbow yeah, at yeah. one point yeah he did uh yeah yeah he, he i knew he was gonna as the rounds went on i knew he was gonna come out more guns a blazing because he had to it was either that or lose so i was ready for it i thought that he'd like adjust to the shot a little bit better as the fight went on and it would be more of a stand up and I was just going to mix that in to set up my my striking but the shot just worked every single time I'm not going to not shoot yeah. you know uh, and take him down if that's if he's not going to stop me they showed Aljamain Sterling at one point on the TV and he got booed tonight what did you think about that uh, you know I, I like Aljamain I think he's a phenomenal fighter I think people still don't like him because of the way that he reacted after that first Jan fight, uh, and that's like his own consequence to stuff, you know? He's probably maybe wishing that he would have maybe reacted to that fight a little bit differently, but I think Aljamain's a good fighter, man. I I, uh, I learn a lot from watching him. I'm excited to fight him again. Hopefully, we'll see, and, uh, and yeah. And listen, so do I. I mean, I saw the reaction, and I'm like, listen, this guy's the champion. He's had a couple of wins since that. Like, let it go, you know what I mean? But are we going to see you in Boston in a couple weeks? You're going to be sitting front row? That's the game plan? I'll be out there. Got to get this looked at, obviously. Yeah, yeah, it's starting to hurt. Is yeah. it? Yeah. Listen, I won't keep you too long. Corey Sandhagen, impressive performance tonight. 50-45, unanimous decision. Go heal up, and uh, we'll see you in two weeks, brother. Yep. See you then. Appreciate you.